a heat index of nearly 100 today, and it's been nearly a full year since we felt that kind of heat. Today's weather took some people by surprise, and Local 24's Brittany Clemens joins us at Municipal Park to remind us how to keep cool as we adjust to higher temperatures coming our way. It's been a hot and humid day, and even tonight, it's still pretty muggy. I've been carrying around this jug of water to stay hydrated, but I've also spoke with a local doctor uh, today so he can give additional tips on how to stay cool. People were out today in Shelby Farms trying to enjoy the day despite the heat. I really was just trying to come do some yoga on the on the river, but I didn't realize it was this hot. Some park goers say they didn't expect it to be so hot, but was still trying to make the most of it by being careful. Today is awfully warm, but I'm out for a walk. I've got my Yeti and I'm about to go to the pool. Dr. Jeff Mullins with the Methodist Medical Group says this is a very dangerous time of year because people's bodies haven't had time to adjust to the warmer temperatures. You need to take frequent breaks in the shade. And the reason I say frequent breaks in the shade rather than going inside is the idea is that you need to acclimate to the heat. You can't acclimate to the heat if you spend an hour outside and an hour inside in 72 degree air conditioning. If you have been out in the heat for a long time, Mullen says to watch for these signs, a pounding heart rate, dizziness, severe or excessive sweating, and cold or damp skin, especially if you have a medical condition. He says these symptoms can lead to a heat stroke. Heat stroke is a medical emergency. That's, and I'm talking about a 911 call the ambulance medical emergency because it starts breaking down muscle tissue and a protein called myoglobin gets into your blood screen, uh, blood screen, uh, uh, blood stream, excuse me, and can damage your kidneys. Temperatures are only going to continue to climb through the summer months, so. Drink a lot of water and stay hydrated. The doctor I spoke with also warned of skin cancer. He says that you should wear um, sunscreen no matter your skin tone because you can still get skin cancer. Reporting live in Germantown, I'm Brittany Clemens, Local 24 News.